Yo, what's up, brave people? I haven't seen you guys in almost a month. Right here is when I did my last video. So, hey, check that one out. But I am back with a collected editions guide for Watchmen. Now, I'm sure you guys have watched our how to read Watchmen video, but I've heard you guys raving for a, how do I collect Watchmen? Now, I have almost every single collected edition of Watchmen here. Of course, we can't get all of them, and some of them are just a little too, I say, pricey on the aftermarket to pick up. But here I have almost every way to collect Watchmen. So not all of these editions are currently in print, but for the ones that are in print, you can pick those up at our friends over at Granic Price Books, which you can use our code BRAVEBOYS to save $2 off of your order. Or if you're buying three or more books, you can save 5% off of your entire order with Brave Boy Sit. Now, one more thing before we jump into the video, I did want to shout out our Discord, which is linked down below. I currently made it to level four, but I'm a co-owner of this channel, so I am the highest rank there is. All right, let's get into the very first way that we can collect Watchmen, which is going to be the floppies. Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp, hidden beneath its murky waters, lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time, the Legion of Doom. All right, y'all, our first way to collect Watchmen is going to be with the original 12 issue floppies, which because it originally released back in 86 all the way through 87, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to pick up these issues. Now, it's not impossible. You can scour the internet or conventions to try to find them. I did see a couple eBay listings selling them within the last couple months as a, an entire set. I did do a little eBay research to see if uh, any have sold recently, and I did find on average you can pick them up for about 135 for uh, the entire set of 12 issues. Now, why would you want to own the original 12 floppies? Well, one part of it is you get a piece of comic history. You get such an amazing story out of the Watchmen series, which I'm not going over in this video. This is just a collected edition. But besides that, you get the original coloring. Original coloring, I hear you guys asking? Well, yes, back in 2005 with the first printing of the Absolute Edition, they did remaster all the colors for Watchmen, which the floppies are one of the only ways that you can currently purchase the series with original coloring similar to our Sandman video where we went through the different collected editions. And if you want, you could always check out that video right over there. Now, another reason why you might want to collect the floppies is because this is the only way that Alan Moore ever intended for the series to be released. Uh, there was a contract between he and DC where after the series went out of print, he would get full rights back to his characters that he created for this universe. Because of that, DC has never let Watchmen go out of print. Therefore, Alan Moore never is going to get those rights back. And ever since then, the series has perpetually been in print. That's why we'll always get new versions and new stories within the Watchmen universe, which we're going to check out some of these forbade collections that Alan Moore never approved them. But they're really fun to collect, and there's some very unique ones that I would love to show you coming up next. All right, our next way to collect Watchmen is going to be in the trade paperback form, which there are technically two versions of the trade paperback, depending on the coloring. Now, what we have here is a very loved version of the Watchmen comic, and that's, this is going to be Jake's trade paperback that he originally read the series in. Now, like I said, there are two versions of the trade paperback, so you could get the newer one, which is what's in front of us here. There is an even newer one with a different logo up here, but it doesn't matter. Or you can kind of scour the internet to try to find one of the original trade paperbacks. Now with the trade paperback, it is going to be standard comic size. Same exact thing as the sizing of the floppies themselves. The only benefit is it's all collected in one go. And this is going to be significantly more affordable and available compared to almost any of the other collected editions. Now, because of the affordability and availability of this version, this is going to be my recommendation for anyone that hasn't read Watchmen previously. If this is your first time getting into this comic, pick this guy up, see if you like it. If you do, phenomenal. You're on board with the millions of other people that love Watchmen. And then you can always grab one of the higher end editions later down the line if you think that this is one of the best series out there, which, spoiler alert, it really is. That's why we talk about it so much. All right, let's jump into a different version of the comic that's actually a bit harder to find. Okay, in this section, I'm talking about the book club, graffiti, and hardcover edition of the comic. Now, you may be saying, Jordan, you messed up the shot. There's nothing on the table. 
And well, that's because these books are quite a bit harder to find. I mean, you can find the hardcover still available out there, but I didn't really find a need to purchase it for this video. Now, like I said, there's three versions of the hardcover. The original is going to be the book club version, which released back in 87, right after the series had wrapped up. Now that version of the comic book did come in a standard size hardcover, which in the following year in 88, they did come out with the graffiti edition. Now, out of these three, the Graffiti Edition is my favorite one so far. For that one, it comes in an all-black design, which it looks to be leather-bound, if I had to assume. And it comes with a slipcase that matches it. Now, this is the most elegant edition of Watchmen that I've seen myself, and if I did pick up one of these three, it would be that one. The only downside is, I only found one listing for it, and it's over $300, so it's not gonna be something I buy definitely anytime soon or at all. Alright, now let's move on to something that is readily available for purchase. Finally, something that's still in print, right? For this guy here, we have the Watchmen Deluxe Edition, which is available to purchase on OPB. I should have a stamp somewhere on screen that you can pick it up. This guy here is the way I originally read the series, which I've got to say is probably one of the best ways to collect it. Now for the Deluxe Edition, it does come with oversized art. So if we do compare it to, let's say the original issue, you'll notice that it is quite a bit taller and a bit wider. So if you really like that Dave Gibbons art, which I like it, I would definitely pick this one up. Besides that, you do get a couple extras in the back of the book, which does go over some character sketches, some parts of the script. Um, it's a really fun edition, and I'm still glad it's in print, just because this is how I read it, and it's kind of nostalgic for me. Now, the other book that I'm in throwing into this section, and I sadly do not have it, but it is still available on OPB, is going to be the box set edition. The box set is going to come in the same size, same dimensions as the deluxe hardcover. The biggest difference being that each individual issue is put into its own book, which kind of fixes my only gripe with the deluxe edition, which is the spine. You'll notice for the spine on the deluxe edition, there is no eye, and because of that, it is a little bit harder to read the text towards the inside of the book. Other than that, I think this is probably one of the best options to upgrade into other than one additional format that we'll talk about later on. Next up on our list is going to be something a little bit more specialized. Let's take a look at it right now. Next up on our collected edition is going to be Watchmen Noir, which Sally isn't as cool as Spider-Man Noir, but nevertheless, this is a phenomenal edition of Watchmen. The specialty of Watchmen Noir is that it's entirely in black and white, therefore allowing you to better appreciate Dave Gibbons' art and John Higgins' inking. Now, besides the book being entirely in black and white, it is also oversized as well. It's even bigger compared to the deluxe edition, which makes this a more unique format. Besides those two benefits, it does give you better matte paper quality within the internals of the book, therefore making the book a little bit thicker compared to all the other editions of it as well. Now, I don't know if this edition is going to be for everybody, kind of depends on what you think of Dave Gibbons art. Let's jump into our next book that is similar to this guy here, but gives you a lot more information. Next up on our list, we have Watchmen Annotated Edition, which this is actually my new personal favorite. Uh, just kind of a little story. This has been in my cart for the last about six months, and this video is my favorite finally my excuse to purchase it for my own collection. Now with the Watchmen Annotated Edition, I do need to give one additional credit besides Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons. And that actually has to go to Leslie Klinger. That is because he went through and made the annotations for this entire book. Now the annotations do come from, now the annotations are mostly based off of Alan Moore's scripts that Dave Gibbons was able to provide to Klinger in order to make this version of the book. This is gonna be the same dimensions as far as height compared to the Watchmen Noir series, but significantly wider. And those additional width is going to be for the annotations for each or almost each panel within the entire series. Besides that, one additional thing that I did not bring up in the Noir edition is that these both have sewn biting. So that allows the book to lay flat, just making it a little bit easier to enjoy the story. The annotated edition is actually relatively affordable compared to some of the other formats. And the reason being is that this as well is all in black and white, same as the noir version. So if you're opposed to having uh, only black and white art, I guess this isn't for you, but it's for me. I really enjoy getting the backstory and some of the characters and subtle details, even though I've read this almost countless amount of times at this point, 
you get to learn some of the small aspects of the world of Watchmen. Like, for instance, and I didn't notice this myself, uh, they don't smoke cigarettes in the Watchmen universe. There's one example at the beginning, and it's because it's a hand-rolled cigarette, but they use pipes instead, which is like crazy to me, and I never noticed that once within reading Watchmen a bunch of times. So if you're looking for the most information possible, the most detail when it comes to Watchmen, this is your copy of the book. Now, let's get into Jake's favorite edition of Watchmen. Now, like I said, this is Jake's favorite version to collect the Watchmen, which is the Absolute Edition. This is the version of the book that most people are going to upgrade into if they really, truly enjoy the Watchmen story. The reason being is this is going to be the largest format that you can collect that has full coloring. And yes, it is the upgraded colors. Like I said earlier in the video, this is where they did the updated colors. With this version of the book, you're going to get the largest format, even larger compared to the noir or the annotated editions. For this, you're going to get a ribbon that you can use as a bookmark and a ton of extras in the back on the creation of the Watchmen original 12 issues for Watchmen. One additional benefit of the Absolute Edition is that it is still currently available at our friends over at OPB, which you can go pick this up right now. I would suggest to pick this up very soon or today because there is going to be a new printing of this book coming out later this year, which you could also pick up on OPB. The only difference between this printing and the new printing is the price increase. They're going to collect the same exact material. Now, I can recommend this book for anybody that truly loves this comic and wants the absolute greatest edition possible, but not the largest edition possible. Let's look at that one next. Now, here's the reason why I made this video in the first place. This is Dave Gibbons Watchmen Artifact Edition. I saw this sitting at my local comic book shop for 150 bucks. I talked to the owner of the shop and he was able to bring it down to $100 for me, making this an instant pickup. Now, besides that, I had to pick it up because this one is out of print. I only found a couple of copies on eBay and they're going for around retail price, around 150. Now, this book is unique to say the least. The entire purpose of this book is to truly appreciate Dave Gibbons' artwork with having only select scenes from the series printed in this. This takes original scans of Dave Gibbons' artwork and it reproduces it in actual size as it was originally created. Now, like I said, this is not the entire book. It is only, as Dave Gibbons states, the money shots for the series. And yes, it does have the do it scene at the end of the book. This is a book that I can't recommend to everyone in all honesty, just cause the pricing, it being out of print, not collecting the entire story. This is more of a collector's piece, something where if you really love the series Watchmen and you love David Gibbons art, this is the best way that you can collect it. Now I did kind of lie. There is a larger way to read Watchmen and that's going to be with the motion comic. Now, Watchmen, the motion comic is what I would say the most unique of them all. Hope you don't mind. Rorschach? The motion comic released back in 2008 as a 12 part series, which each episode captured one issue of the series. The motion comic is technically the largest way to read Watchmen if you were able to stream it onto your 110 inch Samsung TV or I guess any 32 inch is technically larger than a physical copy of the book. Now, the motion comic does give you full voice acting for the series, and this is definitely, like I said, one of the most unique ways to experience a comic book, but it's still a fun experience. And for those that don't really read comics, but still want to view what the Watchmen series is, this is what I would recommend for them. All right, let's get into my final thoughts. And there we have it. This is almost every collected edition of Watchmen that is currently out there, regardless of status of imprint or not imprint. Now, like I said, I did miss a couple of issues, a couple of collected editions on here. Call me out in the comments. Tell me what did I miss? Did I get any errors? Am I supposed to add something from the European market? You tell me. Now, I did want to say again, thank you everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I did on this video. It's I'm a little rusty. Now, I did want to say shout out to Organic Price Books again for being a huge friend of this channel. 
you can use our code BRAVEBOYS to get $2 off of your purchase or BRAVEBOYSIT to get 5% off of your entire purchase when buying three or more books. If you did want, you can pick up quite a few of these over there right now, which, hey, Absolute Edition, one of the best that's out there. But that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Keep reading and stay bold.